I applied to 1,089 tech jobs and landed one offer only. Here's how I landed a software engineering internship and hopefully you can learn from my experience. Please, don't make the same mistakes that I did. So I applied a bit throughout July to September and I started picking up the pace a bit in October. Around the middle of December is when I started applying a lot more. I didn't really get much response between when I started applying and this September, other than some always. Bell contacted me for an online interview where you record your answers to your questions. There wasn't a human involved. I tried and even wrote down answers for my questions, so my answers may have been decent, but it was clear I lacked some experience. You are trash! Uh, so I joined a club for more experience. After each interview, I got better at the job hunt process. I didn't get much real human interaction until I got this email in October. I was so excited because this company is massive and the position seemed to really fit me. The screening went really well. Me and my recruiter talked about some other stuff than just my experience, like the EA games we played, and I was excited to hear back. So I sent a thank you follow up email, and it seemed everything was going great. So I checked back a week later, and they're still gonna get back to me, right guys? Right? Right? Yada yada yada. Fast forward past them always, and we are in December where I started applying quite a bit more. But of course, since my resume is the first thing the recruiters are seeing, I kept reiterating on it and getting help from people to make sure my resume looks great. I got some feedback from a software engineer at Google and just kept applying. So many rejection emails at this point. On January 3rd, I applied to TD. Keep this in mind for later. Around the middle of January, I did another recorded interview and it was with Arab. It went pretty well and I'm still waiting to hear back. Try! Late January, the security division of the government responded to me. I applied two months previously and pretty much forgot that I even applied. Throughout this time, I had also interviewed with some startups, which ended up being good behavioral practice for my upcoming interviews. On the last day of January, TD Bank reached out and I was so excited and nervous. I had been prepping quite a bit of leak code and thank you, Neat Code. That's why he's the GOAT! During the last few months and had enough experience and behavioral practice by now to be confident in the interviews. The TD interview took place on February 5th. It went amazing. Stop the cap. <laughs> I did 10 minutes behavioral, then 10 to 15 minutes technical, and the last bit was just us chatting and learning about each other. The technical part was a lead code medium, but I thought it was more on the easy side. I believe I explained it pretty well as I went through it. I used a hash map, I answered the space and time complexity questions correctly, and also answered the follow-up correctly where he asked me to change the output a bit based on what he wanted. On February 10th, I sent an enthusiastic follow email. I'm still waiting back for a response. I'll get the job, right? I wrote that before I got a response and uh, I, I didn't get the job. I'm guessing someone else had a really great interview as well, but it was a third year student with more experience. Anyways, it was great practice. So I'm sitting at about 800 applications right now. I felt uncertain sometimes throughout this journey, especially between February to April. I'm so happy that things worked out. Okay, again, I wrote that before everything actually worked out. So let's see what actually happens. It's February right now. What you say? Is them tears, bro? Come on, bro. We gotta get you together, boy. And I hope this sheds some light past those LinkedIn posts of everyone getting offers. So I had an interview with a startup which didn't end up working out, but they referred me to another startup that they were friends with. So I interviewed there and started working there part time during school remotely. Uh, the circles back later as you'll see. I had an interview on February 29th. It was a Java co-op. Usually my interviews go quite well in my opinion, but this one went decent. It was 20 to 25 minutes behavioral and then 20 to 25 minutes technical. The technical part was pretty syntax heavy and I hadn't used Java in a while so it was pretty iffy but the interviewer got the gist of what i was saying he asked me about polymorphism and inheritance which i probably wouldn't have remember what he was referring to oh my god bro oh. of course i get the concepts with the names if i didn't literally ask ChatGPT for common java interview questions right before my interview he asked me to explain a leak code easy so it was a pretty easy interview algorithmically on march 14th i interviewed for a quant developer position at a big bank uh, usually i feel all my interviews go well but today it went decent again uh we talked about my projects and some other stuff my interest in global markets and the bank and he asked me some questions about c plus plus and heaps uh i was literally learning heaps as we speak in our data 
structures class, and I couldn't answer him completely, but I answered his other data structure questions well enough. Literally that night on March 14th, they got back to me saying I got to the next and final round. Woo! Yeah, baby! Which I was like 60% sure I'd get. This interview was gonna be approximately double the length, so about an hour. I think one of the things that pulled me through was that at the end he clicked through some of the links on my resume and went through them. He talked about me doing more of a web development role in the team, and at the end he said, You'll be working on, not you would be working on. Yeah! I wrote the following literally right after the final round interview. I think it went decent again, but there were some questions I didn't know as I'm more on the software side and not on the bank business side. I was worried about this interview before doing it, like a lot, but yeah honestly it's never as bad or scary as I imagined it in my head. He said we want someone long term and said I'd probably leave if my YouTube channel blew up. I don't know why, but I said that's fair. I'm literally trolling, I, this is literally a joke. I, I guess it didn't come out right. I literally had a midterm on heaps the next day and I was studying for the interview instead of the midterm, which at least they laughed a bit on that one. We didn't actually do any leak code, but we talked about time complexity on large and small as well as unsorted lists. And I was asked to explain some search algorithms like binary search and talked about quick and merge sort. They also asked me about bonds and some other stuff since they're a bank. Do you remember that startup I was working remotely for during school? They ended up extending an offer to me for a remote position over the summer. So I'm really excited for that. This entire process might have been a massive skill issue or it was a job market or whatever it was i'm just happy it's over i applied using linkedin jobs and their job alerts and i didn't use github job boards that much simplify helped me speed up the application process as well and keep in mind that these are just a few job application processes i went through that i mentioned there are a lot more where i submitted video recordings of myself and straight up got ghosted i definitely say that my side projects in games and web development as well as joining a school club to help me out and getting past some of the resume screening i hope Hope that everyone that was looking for an internship got one and that they're happy with the one they got it's just a numbers game and i hope some of you can learn from my experience and not make some of the dumb mistakes i made Look at the top of his head! Also, keep trying till the end. My internship wasn't confirmed 100%, but it was in the works until April. And if you know anyone in your network, please use them as a referral. It helps save a lot of time. 